So there's a new update for machine 2.1.5.1 and this adds the position parameter for us inside of chord mode. So what I have is Massive X pulled up here and I'm gonna use one of the presets from one of the new packs that are out. I have a video on that if you haven't seen that. I go through the different sounds for all three packs and create a little idea using the step sequencer, grid mode, and the ARP generator using the sequences function. So check that out if you haven't, but let's go ahead and dive into this new position parameter that's been added to chord mode. So if I just load up cool dynamic using Massive X and then I go to chord mode, you might be wondering, okay, where is position parameter? But it's actually on the second page and it's right here where it says chord position and you can change it ascending or descending for the inversions. But what I like to do is I'm gonna go back out of this and I'm actually gonna set my chord set first. I'm gonna go to major three, it's already on it. That's the one I want. And then we can go to the position parameter by hitting the next page. And now we have chord position that we can change. So if I go and play it normally as it is, it sounds like this. And I'm gonna change the octave, go up one octave. So that's what it sounds normally, but you can change the inversions now. This adds so much potential to songwriting inside of Machine now and coming up with ideas because being able to change the inversions really adds a whole new harmonic perspective, flavor, and just can really change the whole feel of a chord progression. Now, one of the things you might be wondering is, can you automate chord position? And as of now, I have not figured out a way. I've tried to use the shift auto function to automate that parameter, but I think you have to literally play in the chord position change. So what I mean by that is that you'd actually have to change that and use it manually as you're playing in your chords recording your performance. Let's go ahead and try it. So I guess that's one thing that would be cool if we could get an update for in the future. I don't know if it's even possible to automate the chord position parameter. Um, I'm not sure if like automation only works for certain things or if it's like only on an effect level or you know what I mean? Like I'm not sure if you can change the chord position and automate that. For right now though, it's not too hard to just go ahead and play it in and change the chord position parameter at the same time while playing it in and recording your performance. Anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video because I thought this was a very useful thing and something I'm definitely gonna be using going forward. I've been waiting for this.